Dear friends, 544 days of war. The US 2024 presidential nominee Robert F Kennedy Jr. <clears throat> said Washington sending F16s to Kiev is a great decision for the defense industry but a disaster for Ukraine as it won't stop collapse of Ukrainian military. From the war zone in north towards Liman direction close to Serebryansky forestry many Ukrainian counter attacks were repelled by the Russians towards Torsky and Belgorovka the Ukrainian attacks failed in north east of Kupiansk heavy fight is on towards Olshana Sinkovka Ivanovka Novoselievsky and russian army gained few strong holds and managed some small gains even towards northwest of crimea towards swatovo the russian army claimed to advance substantially southwest of it but confirmation is yet to be done a report is coming that bridge or crossing over the oskil river connecting kupians from the eastern part of it is blown up in east ukrainians carried out many counter attacks towards andrivka pirvomaisky miorsky staro mikhailovka but by and large they all were repelled even towards veseli and krasnogorovka ukrainian attacked towards zaliz nyansky from minkovka direction on bakhmut front southern side andrivka ukrainians did reach north and west of the establishment but withdrew as this seemed to be only a reconnaissance mission on yahidne side that is in north of bakhmut the russians made some small gains in south the ground situation is not very clear towards kharson direction nothing special to report on zaporizhia direction the ukrainians launched series of attacks towards rabotino and verbov line on northern outskirts of rabotino the ukrainians attack is continuing in the west of verbov the ukrainian with the help of additional detachments of two strikers have made some gains and taken over few strong tactical points russian sources say that they noticed large number of mercenaries seen in eastern side of pologovsky and guliai pole sectors interdiction missions are on from both the sides Russians carried out attacking eastern Ukraine towards Kirovograd the Dnipro Petrovsk Kharkov Peltova while Ukrainians are continuing as before in yesterday's Ukrainian attack on Novgorod airfield they have destroyed two Tu-22 M3 bombers Iran is reportedly considering of building an aircraft carrier while ecowas delegation with niger has failed to reach any agreement in the meantime data shows that japan has increased grain imports from russia by more than 5600% in july this year and it has increased total export by 25% to russia which includes automobiles medical equipment etc yes finally usa has agreed to deliver f16 fighters to ukraine and is already in the process through various of its allies in war zone nothing new has developed in south ukrainians are trying their best in north the russians are gaining grounds and east remains by laws in equilibrium position heavy interdiction and war attritions are continuing for both the sides and that brings an end to my today's talk 
थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स